Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in this Cypress automation playlist. So until now we have written some tests. Uh, we have also used some of the Cypress methods to optimize our tests further. Now let's look a little further. Let's try to automate some more elements on the page. And also we'll see uh, a different tool which is present within Cypress using which you can inspect the elements itself. So for this, uh, let's try to now automate uh, this text box, which is the subscribe text box. Okay, using this, um, somebody can enter its email and then click on subscribe to subscribe to the mailbox for this particular application, right? So we are going to automate this and then we are also going to use something called the selector playground, which is present within Cypress, which helps you to inspect different elements within the page. Uh, until now, we have been using uh, the default inspect tool, which is present for uh, the browser uh, debugging tools, right? In Chrome debugging tools, you will find uh, the inspect tool, which we have been using. But uh, Cypress also offers a different uh, selector playground button through which you can select any element in your application and then Cypress will give you the correct selector. So let's see how we can do this. So for this, uh, we are going to create a new uh, TS file, okay, where we'll be writing our tests. So inside the end to end, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it subscribe. Okay, dot cy dot ts. Right. So this is my file where I will be writing tests for this subscribe module. And now I will start off by obviously writing a describe block first, okay? And inside this we'll provide a description. So we'll say verify subscribe form, right? And then uh, there will be uh, as usual a callback function here. And then uh, inside this, uh, we'll be writing our before each method because that's what we'll be doing before running each test, right? So we'll use this method. And then there will be a callback function here. Okay. And then inside this, uh, we are going to uh, write the cy.visit and uh, we'll be pasting the URL here. So this is the URL where we'll be opening the application and that completes our before each method, right? After this, we will be uh, writing our test inside the it method. Uh, inside this again, uh, we have to provide a description first, okay? So we will say uh, users uh, will subscribe to the email list. Okay, and then uh, again a callback function here. So we will say, okay, like this. Inside this, we are going to uh, write our test. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to identify uh, the particular text box where we'll be entering the input, right? So uh, let's go back to Cypress now, and here uh, we are going to look at something called the selector playground, right? So using this, you can select any particular element and then Cypress will itself tell you uh, what is uh, the selector which you should use for this particular element, okay? And it is located right here. So this circle uh, with different directions, this is like a search button. And uh, when you click on this, uh, now you can select any particular element and you can see that uh, Cypress is highlighting uh, what kind of data test attribute which can be used to basically identify this control on the page, right? So uh, when I select this, uh, then you will see that uh, this, is, this is what uh, Cypress returns. It is basically uh, the attribute uh, or the property which you can use, okay? So it is telling uh, you can use the cy.get method and it returns uh, just one match. So it's it's a unique selector which can be used, right? 
So uh, we can just copy this uh, cy.get and then uh, we are going to use it inside our uh, test script. So using this, uh, it can identify the email input uh, field, right? Where uh, we can enter our email address. So that's how you can use the selector playground to identify any particular uh, element. And then uh, inside this, we are going to type uh, the email address. So we'll be using the type method. Inside this, um, I'm going to use some uh, email address, right? So I'll use test at qscript.com. Okay. And then uh, after this, uh, we need to click on the button, right? So once we enter the email address here, we need to click on the subscribe button. So we need to identify that particular button. Again, um, I will click on this particular selector playground button. And then um, I'm going to highlight this subscribe button and click on it so that I get the identifier here, right? And then I click on copy to clipboard. And then I just paste it here. So it's a very easy way of uh, basically identifying any particular element using the selector playground. Okay, so you get the selector and you get the line of code also, uh, which you need to enter into your script. Okay, and then uh, we'll be using here the click method, right? So that way you can easily automate this uh, subscribe uh, form, okay? Uh, by just uh, first using the selector playground to get the selector and then entering some uh, email address and then clicking on that particular button, right? So let's go ahead and save this and let's see if it is working now. So let's go back to Cypress and here uh, currently it is, uh, you can see the homepage.cy.ts file is open, okay? So uh, we need to go back to our specs right and then here uh, there are two files now so we need to click on the subscribe uh, spec right uh, and then uh, the test will be executed you can see uh, it, it was able to get that particular field uh, it was able to enter it in, inside this you can even see it uh, in the application right so it has typed the test at qscript.com and then uh, it clicked on the subscribe button so that is what it has done until now okay and the test is passing okay so once uh, you enter on this particular uh, test at qscript.com this particular message is displayed right the success message and that is what i want to verify as well as part of this test okay so what i can do again i can uh, go to the selector playground and i can come here and then I will get this message here, right? The selector for this particular message. So I'm going to copy this and then come back here. And then we are going to paste it here, the selector, whatever we have got. And then we want to verify, right? So what we should say here is should, first of all, it should exist, right? So we are going to say exist. So that message should exist and then it should also contain, right? So we want to verify whether it contains our email address or not. So I'm going to say contains and then I'm going to say test at qscript.com. Okay, so this way I'm doing two types of verifications uh, by chaining the commands. First, I'm saying the message should exist and then it should also contain the email address which I have entered previously, okay? So that completes my verification for this particular test. So let's go ahead and save this now. And let's go back to Cypress. And here you will see that it has uh, executed this assert statement. Okay, so it contains the test at qscript.com. So all the steps have been executed and our test is still passing. Okay, so uh, this is an easy way of uh, basically writing your script, the script which can automate any particular form or any other uh, part of your application. So you can use the selector playground um, to basically get the selector for any particular element on the page. And then you can use that line of code uh, in your test script um, inside the Visual Studio Code project 
and there uh, then you can put some more verifications using different methods and that way you can easily automate any particular application using cypress that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video